Hey gamers, Hailstorm here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyward Sword HD. And last we left off, we actually needed to meet with the uh, headmaster to find out about the song. We had done a bunch of side quests, got some gratitude crystals, and upgraded, expanded my wallet a little. So, yeah, now we're just gonna go find the headmaster and find out more about this song. Let's see what uh, what does Pippet have to say actually. Hey Link. You're looking pretty upbeat lately. That's the spirit. Zelda will be home before you even know it. Just keep on believing that while you wait for her to come back. Oh, he doesn't think I'm going to save her. He says, wait for her to come back. What a punk. I used to respect you, Pippet. Gapora. Pippet's making fun of me again. There you are. Oh, he's got the triple dot the ellipses. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Well, you see, I need to learn this song that she sings. Hmm, I see, my dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? Yeah, that's the first thing I said. Weren't you listening? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Sing it! <laughs> Listen, as I said, I wouldn't feel comfortable serenading you. But if it's the lyrics you're after, I can recite them for you. Let's see. <laughs> oh, youth, guided by... By the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky. And bring light to the land. Man, that was slow and painful. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower. And before you, a path shall open and a heavenly song you shall hear. Wow, that was special. Were you a contestant on American Idol or something? I believe that's the whole thing. Yes, I know. The light tower in the plaza. I know. I didn't know a thing about two whirling sails, though. I believe I turned one of them on one of the episodes. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen? But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean, two whirling sails? Hmm. Well, I found one of the whirling sails. I'm sure I could figure out the rest, Pops. Thanks for your help. I'll just make my way out here now. Okay, so we need to find the other sail. Because I, I blew, which was one over here, I believe. Let's just double check. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, right here. This is the one. I blew it towards the light house tower. Light, to light tower. Right there. Now there has to be... Oh, see that one right there? There's one. Hi, Fledge. Can't be bothered right now. Much too busy. Oh, what is this? What do we have here? And who are you? Jakamar! Thank you so much for tracking down Kukio Link. Oh, yeah, that's right. I talked to you and you're on the light tower. Oh, the pumpkin place. That's right. Story of my life. Yep. Rupees. I need more rupees. As you can see, I'm I'm broke. I'm so broke right now. I've gone from riches to rags. I'm basically the prodigal son right now. All right, let's do this. Uh-oh. What's up, Link? I'm looking for the twisty thing. You're curious about that windmill, eh? So that's the technical term for it. Pretty smart design, I gotta say. So you can turn the windmill so it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Oh man, come on. You're sending me back down there again? He's uselessly sitting there ever since. Well, I'll repair it. Don't you worry. I just gotta find where the heck it is. Please tell me I can douse it if I retrieve it. Yep. Yeah. Below. Okay. You wanna know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there. Sure. 
Sounds good to me. Now, where do I go look? Forest? How would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. We're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Uh -huh. Okay then, okay then. So I gotta find this robot that can carry a propeller and bring it to the windmill. Well, maybe we should go talk to uh, Gonzo or whatever his name is at the bazaar and find out whatever information we can about this here robot. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yes, I do. Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with? You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. That's not why you're here? You say you need to pick something, pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see my grandpa's old robot? What's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days. He was an amazing robot once. When you call him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. Old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen, any such thing. Take mine. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. I guess I had one. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here, and I'll have him up and ready, running in no time. Phew, broke my shoulder, but here it is. Whoa, wow, that was, he turned from stone to this, just with a little ancient grease? That's pretty amazing, and yeah, look at him, he does indeed propel. Flies around, LD301S Scrapper, thank you, bzz. I've got a full tank of energy, and I'm ready to carry anything, bzz. Well, I need you to follow me, buddy. Huh? Who is this green-clad individual of small stature? Whoa, it talked! Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Vrrr, chunk! That's how I give my thanks. A chunk! Hey, now watch it! That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life! Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around, and you're gonna help him. Hmm, <laughs> this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. Zert. Serving children is very low in my task priority. Dzz. What a punk. Master Link. Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dousing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Oh, he's gonna want to serve her because she's a sword. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
You know, I would ask him, but given the fact that I have a dousing ability that works like magic, I think I'll be okay. Check this out. Let's see. Propeller, propeller. Oh, so you're telling me it's in the Elden province, eh? Easy enough. I don't need your I don't need your hints, Mr. Fortune Teller. Oh, wow. Uh, oops. But I guess if you have some stamina potion, I'll take that. Let's go. Fly, my pretty. Oh. Got some crazy islands around here that I need to check out still. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Where should we go? Point to your preferred descent area. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go to the entry. That's going to be a ways away. Let's go to the ascent. Yes. Okay. So let's douse for this puppy. Oh, whoa. I got a signal. Where was it? That way. That way? Could it be close to the temple? It did seem like it was kind of far. Maybe we, uh, well, it's not gonna be easy to trans, it's not gonna be easy to teleport there now, I'll tell you that, so let's just run. Run, 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 Link. Just keep running, Link. Don't let them hit you. <laughs> nice, okay, so. Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, oh. Did I miss it? Or is it on the other side of this? Maybe it's down here? Oh, there it is! Right, I remember seeing that on an episode. Examine it. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Would you like me to call the robot? Yes! I will send word to the robot using Telepathic Transmission Master. Well, that's very convenient. Telepathic Transmission. When are we going to get that kind of technology? Mistress Fi, I hope you weren't waiting long. Bzz. So, bzz, you want me to carry this? Oh, great, it's this guy. Mr. Short Pants, Master Short Pants, you are in my way here. Bzz. I said get out of the way, Vert. Wow, what a punk. Bossy little. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long, Vert. Don't tell me what to do. I do what I want. Master, I suggest we also return to the, s the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. Okay. Yes, there should be a bird statue up here. Ooh, butterflies. Hold up. Oh, look at that. Boing boing. Oh, I got some ore from it. I've heard some of the goddess cubes unlock treasures. Some even hold a piece of heart. Oh, that's good to know. Good to know. All right, back up we go to the sky. Yes, that's why I chose to the sky. It's mildly annoying how many confirmation selections there are. Save? Are you sure you want to save? Click yes then. Oh my gosh. Yes, I told you to save. Please just save. Oh, look at the robot. He's trailing behind me now. Ooh, can I actually make this for once? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And zippy. Okay, we need to go to the other windmill. Oh, it just straight up dropped me here. Nice. There's Scrapper. Here's that windmill propeller. Zap. If you need me, zzzzbrush, clang, feel free to call. For Mistress Fi, I will travel to any destination, kerdzzz. Good to know. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Just, wait just a second. Is that? 
It is! That's the windmill propeller! That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds! Are you saying that whole story handed down to Gonda's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow we get the feeling this is some elaborate prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing. Good, I need it. This goes in here, and I just crank that a few clicks. Easy peasy. Just smack the turbines with my hammer, and it's presto, it's all fixed. That ought to do it. If you can find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey. Honey, honey? Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Cool. You guys know what that means. Check it out. Spin, baby, spin. Oh, you're going the wrong way. Oh, man. Yep, we're almost there. All right, let me just go take a nap real quick. I'm going to make myself a sandwich. No, not yet. There we are. <gasps> Look. Whoa, this kind of reminds me of the towers in Breath of the Wild too. The uh, the um, giant Sheikah Tower. Sheikah, is that what they're called? Sheikah Tower. Man, it's been way too long for me since I played Breath of the Wild. But did it not remind you guys of that? Like the platform on it, the, the whole platform, the the gazebo overhanging thing, the the uh, console that you walk up to and interact with. It all feels very Breath of the Wild esque. They must have gotten a lot of inspiration in that game from this. All right, let's check it out. What do we have here? Whoa, a mirror! Oh, I need a Skyward Strike that because it has that symbol. Skyward Strike! I lied. Don't Skyward Strike it. Hmm. Wait, what the? Do I see how there's light coming through in the ceiling right there? Wait, wait, what does this say? Let sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance. Under her chosen hero shall fall <gasps> a piercing ray of guidance. Okay, so we play the music. Maybe I have to stand in the light. Like right here. Oh. Okay, okay. I just had to back off of it a little bit. <gasps> here we go. Ow. Yeah! Nice! Sing it, Fi! Sing it! Everyone knows Link's voice isn't the best. He doesn't have a lot of practice singing, or speaking for that matter. That didn't quite sound like the same lyric Zelda was singing, but good try, Fi. Good try. It, it worked. That's all that matters. Look, and now the light is shining on this crystal and blasting a beam into this cloud barrier. Ooh. Can I fly into that? Sure I can. Duh. Master, there's a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of this beam of light. Oh, that's scary. I don't know. Oh, man. Ah! I did not pull out my cell cloth. <laughs> I meant to. I meant to. I ain't no masochist. There's something that way? Oh, I don't know what's down there. But we're gonna jump off here and fly out to fly out to the beam of light. Ooh, actually before we do that, maybe we'll check out some of these islands here. Hmm, let's see what's on my map. 
So we've got Lanayru Desert. And we've got that thing, which is where I picked up what's her name. Uh huh. I haven't really seen any of these other other places, have I? Elden Volcano. Oh, I'll need to check out these places where my treasures are too. I don't know. What do you guys think? We'll probably have a sec. Let's go. Let's go find an island that we can go visit. Yeah, take a little detour here. Tons of islands around. Like that one over there. I see one over there we can visit. Oh, look, a zippy zap. Let's take the zipper. If I could for once hit these stupid things. Oh my gosh, there's a cloud, a whirlwind. I'm, I'm determined, guys. I have to do this. I have to do this. I got it. Hey, let's go. And look, it's a... Oh, it's a pumpkin. Oh. Oh. Very graceful, Link. Okay. So what's the plan? What are we doing here? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there. <gasps> look. It's a treasure that I've unlocked, I think. You made your adventure pouch bigger. Good, I didn't even have to buy it. Nice. That is handy. That is handy. Okay, so we got a safe statue here too. That's that's cool. Does that mean I can teleport here? Probably not. Mm, is there anybody out here that we can talk to? Any bugs that I can catch? Oh, there's pumpkins. Pumpkins galore. Hmm. Ooh, money. Sorry, I'm busting all your crops up. Yep, no shame. Just trying to take some rupees that are that you filled these pumpkins with. Who puts rupees in their pumpkin anyway? I could understand jewels on the outside of your pumpkin, but on the inside, that's that's just gonna hurt some. But that's that that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. Oh, oh, look, 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 look. No, don't don't blow. Got it. What is it? Skyloft Mantis. Catch prey with their sharp jaws. Cool. All right. Nice. Okay. Well, let's head inside. I'll bet you all right here right now. 100 rupees says they all they only offer pumpkin pies, pumpkin soup, all that jazz. All right. What do we got here? Oh, I love this music. Sounds like I'm in the country again, plucking on the banjo. Welcome to every bird rider's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is the one and only place you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. Called it. What do you think? Want to try a bit and see what all the buzz is about? Yeah, I want to try just a little. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rupees a bottle. Oh, I got pay? I thought you were offering free samples or something. What happens if I say fill her up? You don't have an empty bottle? It's mighty hard to drink soup when you got nothing to drink. Here, just put it right here in my hands. Here, I'll hold my hands out. You just... I'll drink it off my shield. How's that sound? Whoop. Mm, tastes a bit metallic. <gasps> There's a heart piece in that chandelier, guys. Oh, check out this place. The Lumpy Pumpkin. Keat. Listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a demon. He's obviously trying to get Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. <laughs> but he's right. Definitely was a monster. What? Are you telling me you moved the gravestone? And did you see the monster? What? Weren't you scared? You can't fool me. I bet you were scared stiff. Ah, uh, trying to get Kina's attention, huh? You must be Kina. Well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit there that you're a Skyloft Knight. I hope you'll make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking you can get those down, you hear? You might think you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake, but don't even think about it. Are we clear? Hmm. Nope, not clear, sorry. 
Actually, can I use... I can't use anything, so I might have to just bump a wall up here or something. <gasps> hey, it's Stretch! What are you doing here? Hey, Link. If you catch a bunch of bugs and you have more than you know what to do with, I'll be happy to take some off your hands. But rather than do it here, come by my room in the academy. Yeah, at night. You get mad every time I go to you. Okay, okay. Well, let's see. Oh, whoops! Uh, whoops! Oh, whoops! And whoopsie! Oh, wow, look at it shake. Now, whoops! Crash! <laughs> Freak everybody out! I want those rupees. Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant! Uh... Can I just stay up here forever, guys? I'm kind of terrified of this this here, guys. It's gonna blow my brains out. Oops! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> Until all their dishes break. <laughs> Oh, I still heard I still heard some I still heard some shatter down there. <laughs> what about here on the table? Whoops! <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, ow! Oh dear me. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's enough. Time to face the consequences of our actions because that's uh that's how what you gotta do in life. Sometimes you make choices in life. Good or bad, they all have consequences. Hey, let that be a life lesson for you. Zippity zap! You got it. You heard it from Hailstorm, guys. That's this episode's life lesson for you. Oh, no. Look how dark and, like, gloomy this place looks now. Oh, what's she gonna say? Don't even pretend that was an accident. I put signs up there to warn people to be careful of the chandelier and everything. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Don't be surprised my dad gives you a royal chewing out. Yikes, were there actually signs up there? I didn't see any. Now that you say it, I might recall having read a thing or two. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom ordered chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Uh, uh no way, man. What did you just say? You got some nerve coming in here, busting up my chandelier, and thinking you can get away with it. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. Oh, uh. <laughs> uh. I tried to go right. There we go. Yep. That's right. And I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skyloft's night commander. He, Night Commander's a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Night Commander? Oh. Yes. You haven't got an empty bottle, you nitwit. You need an empty bottle if you want to carry soup. Go get yourself one and come back here. Ah, well, okay, don't worry if I... Uh, <laughs> probably never going to show up to this place again. Oh, oh wait a second. Hmm... You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards. Dude, Link's a little... He's a little mischievous little miscreant, isn't he? <laughs> little devil, you. All right, all right. That's enough horsing around. Time to head to that beam of light. Which is... Which way? Where are we? Uh, huh. It's got to be pointing from Skyloft, right? Oh, it's straight ahead. Way over there. Okay, okay. I see. Whoa, 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 turn tornado, watch out. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place. Oh, wow, wowza, wowza, watch out there. Nice. Inside the Thunderhead. Oh, now that sounds like my kind of place. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, ignore the baddies, ignore the baddies. Run, 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 run. Oh, my heavens. Can I slash my sword? No, I can't. I can go to the rainbow land, can't I? Oh, these guys look dangerous, man. That is creepy. It creeped me the heck out. Get out of here. Go to, get away from me. What is this? Oof. <laughs> okay. Um, it's just a little heart island. 
No, didn't it say something about a rainbow somewhere? Did I remember here? Oh, somewhere over the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. Right? Isn't that how the song goes? Okay, maybe not. Doesn't look like there's really anything here. At least not yet. Maybe something comes later. I don't know. But we're going to head to this beam of light thing, which is right up there. Let's go on ahead. Come on, Lofty. Come on, Lofty McLofterton. Ooh. What is this place? Ooh. I don't know, but there's a treasure here. I want it. Gold rupee. 300. Oh my goodness. That's a fortune. That's going to help pay off the loan I got for uh, these boots. They're expensive boots. Let me tell you. They spared no expense in Skyloft. Okay, well, I guess I can't do anything here. Let's try one of these other upper islands here. Yeah, like right there. Didn't it say to dive here? Yep, dive. Now what? Oh, there's a rupee stone thing. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Oh, okay, okay. I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, that. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the greater tower of the Isle of Songs. Easy enough. Uh-huh, okay. Okay. Um, so we need stuff to be lined up or something, right? So we've got that one. Uh, but we need this one to be lined up with them. Yeah. Now what? Can I, s I can't spin it the other way, can I? Um. Oh, interesting. Push. Uh huh. Interesting. I see, I see. So really, we're gonna need to line them up from back to front. So if I push it one more, okay, now we need to get the uh, the outer one to match with the others. So strike that way. Mm, no, no, strike that way. Yes, yes, yes. So we push this guy around until they all line up. See, that outer one's gonna be the first to hit the thing, so it's, they're all gonna line up right now. Good, good. But now I need to move them out of the way. And then go one more. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right, oh, we got a save statue here. That's convenient. Let's go ahead and save. Ooh, it's a birdie that I can skyward strike. Skyward strike! Now what? Whoa. Got a statue with a moving mouth. That's kind of creepy. <gasps> Me too, Link. Kind of creeped out. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. Are you going to dance for me? Oh, yep, of course. Of course she is. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. Would it be possible to, like, tell me without all the 
fancy dance moves. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow unto you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Faron Woods. Oh no. Oh, I was scared you were going to say that. Nightmares of yours lie ahead. Hear that? That's the music of death and horror, terror and trauma and PTSD. You guys will see. For those who don't know. For those who know, you know what's coming. You know. That song is called Ferrore's Courage. Its rousing melody will guide you. You learn Ferrore's Courage. Master, you must overcome the trial set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Ferore's courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Farron Woods as soon as you are ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Not now. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to have to take a long night of sleep before I commit to doing this. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. I really appreciate all the support you guys have given me. And I look forward to the next episode of Skyward Sword HD. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to strike that like button and click subscribe if you want to watch the future videos and want to be notified of when they are released. And don't forget about that giveaway. Feel free to check the link in the description for Twitter and all the rules to enter. And we will catch you guys on the next episode of Skyward Sword. See ya, nerds.